This is a short version video presentation on the clinical application of the transversus thoracic plane block called TTP block. My name is Gabor Kiss from the University Hospital of the Reunion Island. I have no disclosures and no conflict of interest to declare. The transversus thoracic plane block anesthetizes the anterior cutaneous branches of the T2 to 6 intercostal nerves of the medial anterior chest wall. Analgesia is provided by a single injection of local anesthesia between the internal intercostal muscle and the transversus thoracic muscle located in the third and fourth or fourth and fifth intercostal space lateral to the sternum. Indications of the TTP block are listed up here, mainly covering sternal and rib fractures and surgery of the anterior chest. Absolute contraindications are patient refusal, infection at the site of the injection, and allergy to any of the drugs used. Relative contraindications are listed up on this slide. The block can be done either under general anesthesia or awake, with a head up or supine. Scan in a lateral to medial fashion. The transversus thoracic muscle comes into view lateral to the sternum and deep to the internal intercostal muscle as a hypoocheric band. Then the internal thoracic artery is identified. In addition, the internal thoracic vein can also be visualized at the same time. Identify the pleura. This slide describes the sternal cross-section anatomy of the transversus thoracic muscle in relation to its surrounding structures. The needle target for the TTP block is directed into the transversus thoracic plane, where local anesthetic is injected, displayed here as a blue solution, and also shown on the contralateral side of the sternum. In a sagittal cross-section view, we can see the spread of the local anesthesia in a TTP block. This longitudinal ultrasound image shows the anatomy before injection of local anesthesia. Where in this ultrasound real image, the injection of local anesthesia is shown into the transversus thoracic plane with the spread of local anesthesia between the internal intercostal muscle and the transversus thoracic muscle. During injection, there is a downward displacement of the thoracic plane, the transversus thoracic muscle and the pleura, which confirms correct deposition of local anesthetics into the transversus thoracic plane, also shown here on this cartoon. In summary, here is the right shot at the right place leading to the right block with its end result shown on this sagittal parasternal ultrasound image. After block completion, the patient is closely monitored for 20 minutes. Possible complications of a TTP block are summarized here on this slide and also as a cartoon on this slide. Remember, an indirect indicator of a successful TTP block is the downward displacement of the thoracic plane and the transverse thoracic muscle during injection of local anesthesia. Finally, I want to express my gratitude to all persons and institutions listed on the slide for kindly granting me permission to publish their figures. All references used for this presentation can be found back in my research gate paper from May 2020 with the title Transversal Thoracic Plane Block for Sternal Pain Control in Cardiac Surgery. If you want to watch more videos on the subject, they can be found back on YouTube with the keyword TTP block under Gap Run. Here is an important update information. Dr. Hironobu Ishima, quoted in the reference section of my research gate paper, has been found guilty of misconduct in some of his publications as quoted by Karish E.D. in Anesthesiology 2021. Please remain updated on this procedure.
I wish you all success for your TC people.